Hey guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober, and today we're going to be talking about what the S stands for on the wheel dial on your DSLR camera and what we can do with the S mode. Now, the S on the wheel dial, it stands for shutter priority mode. When we enter shutter priority mode, we will see a screen looking like this. It may look complicated, but don't worry, because there's only one part of this screen that we have to concentrate on, and that is the shutter speed. Shutter priority mode is basically where the photographer tells the camera what shutter speed he or she would like to work with. After that, we can forget about it and just let the camera do its mind trick. Again, all we have to do in shutter priority mode is to tell the DSLR what shutter speed it is that we would like to work with. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I wanted to photograph a running river and I wanted to make the water look all silky and smooth, then I would tell the camera that I would want to use a long shutter speed, such as 15th of, let's say 15 seconds. Let's, yeah, a full 15 seconds. So I would dial into my DSLR 15 seconds, and then I can forget about everything else and simply just press the shutter button. Now, let's say that I was photographing motorsport and let's say that I wanted to freeze cars in action. That now means that I would have to use a fast shutter speed. So what I would do is in shutter priority mode is I would dial in a fast shutter speed that I would like to use. For example, 1,000th of a second. 1,000th of a second will be enough to freeze cars. Now, there's a few things you should know with regards to shutter priority mode. And the first one being is that shutter priority mode still does give the photographer options to adjust their white balance. You can still do stuff like that. It's, it's not a full automatic mode like automatic mode is. Instead, it does allow you to do a few things, such as changing your ISO. We'll come to ISO in a minute. Such as changing your exposure compensation and adjusting your flash ratio. Now we can come on to flash power again in a minute. So now you understand that shutter priority mode is where the photographer tells the camera what shutter speed it is he or she would like to work with. Now, moving on to flash. If you choose to work with flash on shutter priority mode, then there's something that you need to remember about working with flash and shutter speed. And that is that certain products of flash only work at certain shutter speeds. For example, this flash here is a Falloon V600. Its maximum sync speed with shutter speed is 250th of a second. So if I have this flash on this camera, what that means is I can only shoot this camera at 250th of a second, as that is the sync speed that the flash will work with the camera. If I shot at, let's say, 400th of a second with this flash on the DSLR, then I might as well not be using flash because I'm not going to get flash in the final photograph because 4,000th of a second is far too fast for this flash to work with. Now, if I got more expensive flash, like my SB900, then yeah, I could even work up to my maximum sync speed of 4,000 of a second. So remember, when you work with flash and shutter speed, bear in mind what your sync speed of your flash is 
with your DSLR. Now, moving on, there's a tip I want to share with you guys. You may be out and about, and let's say it's a nice sunny day, okay? It's a gorgeous sunny day. You've got loads of light about, right? So that means you're going to be working, let's say, with a very fast shutter speed. Let's say a shutter speed of 2,000 of a second. Now, let's say that dark grey clouds come over and block out the sun. Now, you still want to work with 2,000 of a second. Let's say you still want to work at 2,000 of a second, but the clouds come and they just dull everything. And when you take a photo, you find out that your image is looking dark because you're shooting on 2,000 of a second. Remember, shutter speed also affects ambient light. So, what you can do if you still want to shoot on 2,000th of a second, second, then what you could do is simply just boost your ISO in order to double the amount of light. So for example, let's say you're shooting on a shutter speed of 2,000 on ISO 2,000, for example, then we could double the light hitting the sensor by moving up to ISO 2500. If that's not enough light, we can double it again by moving up to ISO 3200. Now, I know a lot of guys talk about, oh, but you'll get image noise. To be quite frankly, guys, who cares? If you want to shoot on 2000 of a second, then you've got to make that sacrifice and have a little bit of image noise. So what I'm saying is don't be afraid to boost your ISO in order to meet the shutter speed it is that you would like to work with. Now, obviously, if the clouds go away and the sun comes back out again, then simply adjust your ISO back down again in order to match your 2000 of a second shutter speed with your overall exposure. Right, guys, so let's uh, talk about the next one. When you're in shutter priority mode, you may find that if you're working with tele-zoom lenses, such as these guys, and this is if you're shooting handheld, okay? If you're shooting handheld in shutter priority mode with uh, tele-zoom lenses, what you're going to have to do, guys, is you're going to have to shoot your shutter speed faster than your focal length. Let me explain this. This lens here is a 70 millimeter to 300 millimeters. Now, if I'm shooting this handheld, this means that my shutter speed needs to be faster than my focal length. So, if I'm shooting on 70 millimeters, then my shutter speed needs to be like 150th of a second. If I'm shooting on 200 millimeters of a focal length, then my shutter speed should be 500th of a second. That way, I won't get blurry photographs. If I shot on 300 millimeters of a focal length and my shutter speed was 50th of a second and I was handheld, I'm going to get blurry photographs. So the golden rule is if you're using shutter priority mode to photograph events such as motorsports, cycling, football, stuff like that, with tele-zoom lenses, always remember to keep your shutter speed faster than the focal length of the lens it is that you are working with. So again, guys, to finish this video off with, remember that shutter priority mode simply is where you, the photographer, choose the shutter speed it is that you would like to work with. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and when you get the time, check out online shop over at www.ukhighland.com.